<laughs> okay, well, I, I gotta have my coffee first, man. I don't talk without coffee, you know that. Mm. One of those Keurigs, oh, you know, yeah. any kind you want. Love it. All right, put that down, we'll go to work. Okay, Don Bailey, Suburban Tool. We got a lot of inquiries about sign plates. How do they work or how they how are they put together? Uh, what does it take to make one? So, you know, some of the tool makers, including myself, we used to make our own sign plates back then. You probably didn't know that, did you, Glenn? No. Yeah, we did. It was a kind of a shop project or, you know, the guys would get together and make three of them at a time or four of them at a time. And this guy would do the milling, that guy would do the grinding, and then somebody would do the assembly and we'd stay after work, lunch hour, coffee breaks. It was kind of a fun thing. Who put the letters in? Stop, stop signs, go signs? Stop, go signs. Oh, man, that's a different kind of sign, dude. <laughs> the sign of the angle, you know. <laughs> anyway, this is the beginning of a sign plate. We start with the raw steel, we cut it up, and as you can see, we have a, a, a heat treated part here. This part has been machined and heat treated, but it has not been ground yet, obviously. That's the top plate. And we have a hole pattern in here that I should talk to you about. That hole pattern is specific. We have a patent on that. What's the hole pattern for? Come on, Glenn. Oh, um, attaching other... Did I wake you up? I mean, I didn't mean to wake you up. Go back to sleep. Never mind. I'll tell, I'll tell them. <laughs> the holes are in there, right, to match up with things like our master grind or like our V-blocks or our vices. So if you buy one of our sign plates, it becomes a sign vice because you can bolt it right on there. The big thing is you don't have to fool around registering, you know, indicating it in because it butts up against the rails and it's done. All your, all, your, all your stuff interchanges with each other? Yeah, just about everything, yeah. Kind of like Legos in a way? Yeah, well, good, good good example. I like that. You know, for a cameraman, you're, you're starting to understand this stuff, dude. Okay, so then here's a bottom plate, and here's what it looks like after it's been uh, semi-finished or roughed in. One of the things I'd like to talk about is the fit and finish, as we call it. That's an automotive term, Glenn. You know, that's used, fit and finish. Anyway, we have, you will see that our sign plates, like this, once they've gone together, can you zero in on that, or can you see that okay? Are incredibly smooth and will last an awful long time with normal use. It opens and closes like it should. And they'll do that like from 10 years from now. Uh, we like to think so. If you don't abuse it, absolutely. And the rolls, as we call them, or the hinges, for example, right here, these are all a slip fit. They're very precision. Shoulders are all ground. So if I pull that off, you see what I mean by the shoulders? Not your shoulders, but yeah. shoulders. That's what we call them. That's what we tool makers call them. And that bolts on, as you can see here. And once it's bolted on, look at that. It's nice, nice. And Try that with the cheap import, folks. Doesn't happen. You can buy that $100 sign plate, but good luck in trying to use it. Uh, it's a per there's a purpose for it, and some guys will use it and get along with it just fine. But if you want precision and you want and you want guaranteed tolerances, which we have, and somebody that you can talk to, there's a problem. And by the way, we speak English, so you can call here, and we'll talk to you about it if there's a problem, or if you need some recommendations or advice on how to do something. We're here for that purpose. So all of these rolls are ground within a couple of tenths. This is a step roll. Do you know why that's in there? No. Uh, let me tell you. Because if you wanted to set, say you needed to put gauge blocks in there that are 20 thousandths for some reason. There's no such thing as a 20 thousandths gauge block. But there is such a thing as a 120 thousandths gauge block. All right. So you take the 120 and you put it here on this end. Oh, okay. Is that pretty clever? Yeah, it is. That's why we do. That's why we have that step in there. So we call that a step roll. And then, of course, we have the side rails, which are also ground, as you can see. They go on the end, and they will drop down so they go into storage position so they're below the surface. They don't stick up 
10 or 20 thousandths, which we've seen some of the imports do, you go to set your part on there, and if you set it on there, you might not know it, guess what you're going to end up with? It's going to stop it. Not a good condition. You're going to end up with a piece of scrap. And then we have a locking strap here that goes on the side. And why do we have that curve in there? Do you know why? Um, from what I remember, it's to keep it on the way of the side plate. Yeah, exactly. Very good. Yeah, it goes up. As it goes up, you'll see that it never protrudes above the surface. So that's another pattern that we have. Pretty slick, isn't it? Yeah. Now, when I came up with the idea that what we call the sign set, uh, our engineer at that time, who's still here, Paul Williams, and I worked on the design of this, so all the component parts, i.e. a V-block, a vise, another angle plate, uh, the master grind, everything would bolt onto here, aligning up to the corners, or at least one edge. Why is that important? Because if you put your part on there cockeyed, you're not going to get a good reference, are you? So, you can, in other sign plates, you can get it parallel or square, but you've got to use an indicator to do it, which wastes time. And you need to clamp. You need to get clamps and clamp it on somehow. With ours, you drop a bolt in it and it's done. So, the other thing that we have that goes on here directly is a, is a magnetic chuck. The chuck goes on, bolt goes in the bottom, chuck stop, uh, goes up against the stops, bolt it down, now you have a magnetic sign plate. Pretty slick, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, that's why would you want to do anything else? So, it can be a, a sign plate by itself, a magnetic sign plate by itself, or the magnet can be used independently, the vise can go on there, the vise can come off. Uh, master grind can go on there, etc. So that's the uh, the anatomy of a sign plate in any case. That's what it looks like. This is what it takes to get it to this level. And if you have any questions or any inquiries, please contact us. Take a look at our website at subtool.com. We have uh, we welcome your comments. We encourage you to uh, to sign up. We encourage you to share. Uh, there's a lot of up-and-coming tool makers, at least we hope there are. We need them. To, I mean, we need them desperately. And that's one of the reasons why we want to we want to do these help videos is to share and give back to the community. We think it's very important that these younger tool makers that don't understand what it's all about have a good idea to how to make themselves a better person. And uh, we're here to do that. We're, listen, we're here to sell product too, but but we're also here to help these guys. Uh, We've trained a lot of people here ourselves. We are, we're going to continue to do that. These training programs that were out there years ago are gone. Uh, certainly GM and Ford and Chrysler don't have the same programs that they had years ago back back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Um, they seem to have lost all of that. So, Are you going to offer that? Are we what? Are you going to offer that someday? Well, we, you know, we, we actually we do right now. We take people in and we train them every day. So. Uh, we don't have what we call a structured program like they did, but it's it's probably as good as you're going to find out in the street. When our guys are working in here for a couple of years, they become pretty damn efficient. So uh, we know how to do this. So that's what we're going to be doing, and we're going to continue to do it. So we hope that's been informative. And uh, again, thanks for watching.